Hey, I'm Bridget. It's Friday, February 22nd. Operation Burnt Frost is standing ready still, although it doesn't look like we're going to have much work for them. You know that busted spy satellite that we blew out of the air earlier this week? Well, Operation Burnt Frost's job is to pick up any of the hazardous chunks that might fall to Earth. The Operation Burnt Frost unit is still on alert, ready to head anywhere on Earth that the remnants might land. Who names these teams? Burnt Frost? It's just silly. Pieces of this blown up satellite, which are now at most only as big as footballs, which would still really hurt to get hit by one, could theoretically still fall at any place at any time on Earth. But don't worry, Operation Burnt Frost is ready for anything. They've got hazardous material suits to guard against toxic fuel, breathing apparatuses in case there's fumes, and in case the space shrapnel lands in a hostile environment like Iraq or Afghanistan. They also gave them body armor and helmets. Don't mind us, we're just here for our toxic space shrapnel. You may have heard of us, Operation Burnt Frost. We have helmets and everything. I sure hope none of the toxic space shrapnel lands in a hostile environment because I'm not sure I'd buy that story. Also this week, nothing takes the snap out of turning 30 like being told you might have hepatitis. Anyone who was at Socialista in Manhattan's West Village on February 7th, 8th, or 11th needs to get a hepatitis A vaccination because the bartender working those nights had it. Demi Moore threw a 30th birthday party there for Ashton Kutcher on February 7th. Happy birthday and surprise, you might have hepatitis baby. The photo agency Wire Image was there taking pictures and in the last few days it's turned from a who's who of who was invited to Ashton Kutcher's birthday party, everyone wants to be in that photo collection, to a who's who of celebrities that might be carrying hepatitis. No one wants to be there. Celebrities who may be carrying hepatitis now include Madonna, Gwyneth Paltrow, Lucy Liu, Liv Tyler, and Salma Hayek. They'll be fine after they get the vaccination. And in my inbox this week, Steven says, Dear Bridget, you're a woman. Yes, I am. Oh, he goes on. Question, what would you think if you met a guy in the coffee house and he was drinking a raspberry macchiato? Is there such thing as manly coffee and should I be drinking a manlier coffee if I want to meet women at the coffee house? Steven, don't go to coffee shops just to meet women. A lot of the women there are working on things or just trying to have a coffee and they can feel when you're all watching them, all woman shopping. It bums them out. That being said, you can go to a coffee shop open to meeting women as long as it's not your primary goal. Go there with something besides looking at women to do and then drink whatever you want. Most women won't check out your coffee even if they do check out you. And if they do check out your coffee, a raspberry macchiato costs a lot more than a regular coffee so it shows you're not cheap. And if you're lucky enough that they sit down with you, it smells really good and that can't hurt. Good luck. That's all for today. I'm Bridget and I'll see you next Friday, February 29th.